Every time Negro get a chance to start talking about his gangster lifestyle, federal prison, mediocrity, failure, being in prison is nothing to be bragging about. In a life of crime, is nothing to be bragging about. Something that some people feel like they chose some path they chose to do and they did it. But this nigga is full of these gangster stories of him wearing gold chains and beepers and shit like that, man. It's, it, it, it's, it's getting real out here, man. It's getting real out here, man. It's getting real out here. There's a lot of shit going on out here. People losing their lives. People losing their livelihoods. People can't take care of their family, kids out of school. People dying. People losing their loved ones. And all this niggas seem to know it's crime, man. What is wrong with this nigga, Shit. Like all this shit these rapping ass dudes be talking about and shit like that. I live that shit. I had a record company. I had money. I had candy painted cars and big ass gold chains and bitches and you know had my had a had a house and shit when I was uh, 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 in my teens and shit like that. And uh, I, I, I had a house in my teens. I'm a nigga. I had candy painted cars. I had a big gold chain and some Adidas. I, I had a Kango hat like LL Cool J. I had this big old shiny ball head. And this uh, uh, bad stuttering problem. People can't understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Two cars in the driveway. I'm telling you, man. I live the shit that a lot of these dudes. I literally, when I said tell y'all some shit, I tell y'all this story. My, when I was sitting in prison, I literally sat in prison and watched motherfuckers on BET from my city reenacting what I was actually doing out there. Now, I know good and well they weren't doing the shit because when I was out there, they were working in record shops and shit. So my team was doing that shit for real. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like I really li- literally lived that shit. So it was uh, I don't I don't I don't watch fake shit. You know I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't I, I'm not interested in it. It don't arouse me none. I don't get off on hearing gangster stories and shit like that. I don't watch gangster movies and shit like that. It's not that shit ain't intriguing to me at all. You know, uh, I don't I don't enjoy hearing what a motherfucker did. Oh yeah, I did this and I did. I, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I done, I I done done a lot of shit. I did a lot of a lot of weird shit to get on. A lot of that real gangster shit. I did a lot of that shit to get on. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't enjoy that shit, bro. Shout out to my brother, OKC Boston Talk. He said, is McKinney, Texas... Well, he, he, well for, for him not to enjoy it, he sure loved talking about it. He loved talking about all the, all, all, all the bitches and the gold chains and the sneakers. Calling all calls, calling all calls. We got a black male with gold chains and sneakers. I think he ran a Kango. He loved talking about this bullshit, man. It's, this is nigga idiot. He graduated from federal prison, man. He he proud of it, man. The motherfucker tried to put me in federal prison. Did they was they able to do it? Hell no. Nigga tried to put me away for all kind of bullshit. I stayed up, stayed above that shit, man. Stayed out here, man. Take care of my family, man. Fuck, you can't be doing shit from federal prison. This nigga is an idiot, man. Y'all need y'all need to recognize, man. And then, and I need. To, I'm gonna do my video later on about Earl Spence, man. Why Earl Spence social? Earl Spence been social distance himself from the LDBC, man, and continue to. Why Earl Spence continue to social social distance himself from the LDBC? Very smart move. LDBC stand for boxing career ended. Career ending.